Hello friends. Today we're looking at a map created by Nicolas de Fer of Paris, France in the year 1720. Nicolas de Fer was the son of a map seller and grew up to be one of the most well-known map makers in all of France during the 18th century. Perhaps his most famous map was his wall map of America, which he published in 1698, and we'll discover that map in a future episode. This incredible map of the island of California was, at the time, the largest representation of California on a printed map. It was created in 1720, which was a period when map makers were beginning to question the island's existence. The map derives mainly from information provided by Father Eusebio Kino, which he gathered in 1696. But by 1720, Kino's later works had largely disproved the island of California as a myth. The Spanish title of the map translates as California or New Carolina, place of the apostolic works of the Society of Jesus in North America. The name derives from Kino's original notes of his expeditions to California in 1696. The inset text below the title provides a history of California up to the year 1694. The title is bordered by filigree and grapes, and three scenes of indigenous people show a sense of utopia. The popular misconception of California as an island can be found on many European maps from the 16th through the 18th centuries. In the lower left corner is another delicate frame which contains the scale. Flanking this frame are a pair of birds, an aardvark and a sloth. From its first portrayal on a printed map by Diego Gutierrez in 1562, California was shown as part of North America by many well-respected mapmakers, including Gerard Mercator and Abraham Ortelius. In the 1620s, however, it began to appear as an island on several maps. While most of these show the modern state of California separated from the continent, others, like a manuscript chart by Jao Teixeira Albanaz in 1632, incorrectly shows the entire western half of North America as an island. Besides California, there is also a nice regional depiction of the Southwest, and many names in what is now New Mexico are engraved on the map. California is split from the mainland by the Mar de la California o Carolina. The outer coast, however, has many place names, including Punto de San Francisco. On the mainland, to the north, is the toponym Gran Quivira. This is another great cartographic myth of the early modern period, Quivira refers to the seven cities of gold, sought by the Spanish explorer Francisco Vasquez de Coronado. In 1539, Coronado wandered over what today is Arizona and New Mexico, eventually heading through what is now Kansas to find the supposedly rich city of Quivira. Although he never found the cities or the gold, the name stuck on maps of southwest North America for many years. The myth of California as an island was most likely the result of the travel account of Sebastian Vizcano, who had been sent north up the shore of California in 1602. A man by the name of Antonio Ascensin accompanied him on his journey, and it was Ascension who described the land of California as an island, and around 1620 he sketched maps to show it as such. Normally, this information would have been reviewed and locked in the Spanish repository. However, the maps were intercepted in the Atlantic by the Dutch, who took them to Amsterdam, where they began to circulate. Not everyone was convinced, however. Father Eusebio Kino, after extensive travels in what is now California, Arizona, and northern Mexico, concluded that the island was actually a peninsula and published a paper refuting the claim in 1705. Despite Kino's work, California as an island remained common on maps until the middle of the 18th century. The island suggested possible links to the Northwest Passage with rivers in the North American interior, supposedly connecting to the sea between California and the mainland. Furthermore, Sir Francis Drake had landed in Northern California on his circumnavigation of the world from 1577 to 1580, and he also questioned California as an island 
In the face of more intense research and skepticism from more and more explorers, the King of Spain, Ferdinand VII, had to issue a decree in 1747 proclaiming California to be a peninsula connected to North America and not an island. It's rather amazing to realize that even well into the 1700s, at a time when men had traveled all corners of the globe, many of them still believed that the region of California was an island separated from the mainland by a large river. The British had already begun to occupy the eastern colonies of America well over 100 years prior to this knowledge, showing just how uninhabited and unexplored the western United States had been well into the mid-1700s. If you would like to learn more about the incredible world of ancient cartography, be sure you're subscribed so you get notified of new videos when they're released. As always, I look forward to sharing more great maps with you in the future and I thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.